everyone so today I'm going to be doing my hair routine and tips so yeah let's just get started okay so first thing I do obviously is I wash my hair and what I like to use to wash my hair is the Chi Ionic color protector system shampoo and moisturizing conditioner and no my hair is not colored it's like 100% completely natural but I really really like this conditioner I don't know it just seems to be working for me the shampoo and conditioner um I don't know it just kind of seems to be working for me um but I will probably be picking up a different one like the original one um yeah, so I used that, and this these are both kind of on the pricey side. I bought these alone, and they were each about 20 something dollars. So they were pretty expensive, but I think that they are definitely worth it, and they definitely make your hair feel very smooth and silky and soft, and Chi is just an amazing brand. So I have those, and this smells, it doesn't smell bad, it just doesn't really have a necessarily fruity smell to me. I don't know. It just smells like hair product. So, yeah. And I'm kind of going to start off with like the shower stuff and my daily use stuff. And then I'm going to go on to some things that I use every once in a while while styling my hair and stuff like that. So, um, after I take a shower, I use my, I know it looks kind of gross, but my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And this smells absolutely amazing. Like, this is my favorite hair product scent ever. It smells like apricots and just, ugh, it smells amazing. Um, but, yeah, so I use that, and it's just the leave-in conditioning cream, and it kind of helps hold my hair's curl and stuff like that, so I use that. So those are all the things that I use on a daily basis, but now I'm going to kind of add in some things that I use some of the time, and yeah. So here's another Chi product, and I like to use this sometimes when I feel like my hair, I don't know, sometimes I feel like my hair is just kind of dryish. Um, so I like to use this, and this is the Chi Silk Infusion Silk Reconstructing complex. I really like to use this and it works well with styling my hair. I just like to just take a really teeny tiny amount because you do not need a lot of this. This is like an amazing product. It's just, it feels so good and your hair feels like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really silky feeling and odd almost. It's just, it's kind of, it kind of feels odd um, when you're running it through your hands and your hair and it's just, it's a weird feeling, but I really, really like it and you don't need a lot so this bottle has lasted me a long time and this is quite expensive as well it's like twenty three dollars at walmart um which i didn't buy at walmart so it was a little bit more expensive but yeah here's another leave-in conditioner and this is kind of when you are about to brush your hair now i brush my hair in the shower but this is kind of when you're about to brush your hair and you feel like you need just a little bit more help, you know, when you're like running the brush through your hair and it's like, it, it's not, you know, brushing properly or the comb's not like going through your hair. So I like to use this and it is the Supernatural Ecoli uh, Formulas. I don't know, but here it is, and I'll put all the links down below, but um, this is the Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler. And to be honest, this does not smell the best. Um, it just kind of smells like, I don't know, a wheat formula slash hair product. It smells really kind of just odd to me. It doesn't smell exactly bad, but it just smells like, I don't know. Next, I have a hair mask, and I probably should have added this in in the beginning. And this is the Redken 5th Avenue NYC Extreme Strength Builder Plus. And it says that this is a fortifying mask for highly distressed hair. Um, and my hair is not highly distressed at all. I don't really use too much product. All of these products, by the way, I don't use all at once, just to clarify. Um, but anyway, so I just like this because sometimes it kind of gives you a little bit added 
I don't know, just, just a little bit more um, strength and it just kind of really brings a lot of nutrients back into your hair if you've, I mean, because I wash my hair almost every day, pretty much every day, um, sometimes, sometimes I'll skip a day in a week, but usually it's about five to six days that I wash my hair, or six to seven days in a week, um, so, yeah, but I like to use this maybe two or three times every month, and it's just like a hair mask, it looks like this, and... It smells pretty good. I don't know. I kind of like the scent, but yeah, it smells almost perfumey to me, and it's kind of fruity, but it's a little bit musky as well, so I don't know, but it smells like a bath and body lotion to me, <laughs> and this was $17, so I mean, it wasn't too bad for all of the product that you get, and yeah, so I like that. So then I have two products that you can use while you're straightening your hair. And if you have curly hair like me, you know how difficult it is um, for to straighten your hair. And I'm not the one, the kind of person to straighten my hair every day. I maybe straighten it every two, three months. Really, I don't straighten my hair a lot. Um, but yeah, so here are just some products that I like to use when I'm straightening my hair. And I find that it kind of helps. Um, so, here is the first product, and this is the Silk Elements Mega Silk Heat Protection Spray. And here it is, and this is just a really, I mean, it's kind of simple. It's just a heat protector, and you just kind of spray it in your hair before you um, apply any kind of heat, blow drying, flat, but this is really good, and it also kind of makes your hair shiny, and smooth and soft, so I really like this, because it does add a lot of shine, which I was not, I was kind of surprised, um, because I didn't think it would, I just thought it'd be a regular hair protectant, but this is good, and I think I bought this at, like, Sally's, and it wasn't too expensive, so, yeah. And I have a Stick Straight Smoothing Spray, well that was Tongue Twister, and this is by Graham Webb, and it's basically just a spray that you kind of spritz in your hair um, when you straighten it, well at least for me since my hair is curly, and I like to use this when I'm straight my straightening my hair because it kind of makes my hair a little bit more shiny and sleek and just kind of straight without making it like crunchy or anything like that or hard because I absolutely hate that feeling um but yeah I really like this and it doesn't feel like it's weighing down your hair at all so it's really lightweight and yeah and this is pretty expensive it was like $19 but it is definitely worth it and you get so much product product in here and the spray thingy just looks like that and I have a little bit of feather right there but yeah it's just this kind of spray and this actually smells pretty good I don't know to me it smells kind of good you do not want to blow dry your hair because it kind of makes your hair lose its curl as well as just makes your hair poofy and you don't want to um, a towel dry your hair either because same um, you just kind of don't want your hair to lose its curl I like to air dry my hair so, so if you do insist on blow drying your hair and I know that sometimes you know you kind of need to blow dry it like if you need to be somewhere or if you just I mean if it's really cold outside or something like that then I know that sometimes you have to blow dry your hair but when you do I would definitely recommend for you to attach a diffuser to your blow dryer um I don't know you could just google diffuser on google images because I don't have one to show you right now but yeah I just I just recommend doing that so yeah I think that is it and thank you guys for watching bye